what happened last night at that giant jet game. This is Tim and Steer, Giant Straight Talk. Power of Online, Big Blue, LLC. Anyone that played on the offensive line for the Giants last night should have been cut. It should be cut coming up. Poor Tommy DeVito. He he got he got his bell rung to the tune of eight sacks. I mean, it was it was just a bad it was a bad game to watch. The last preseason game usually is just a bad game to watch. Um, but there's level of putridness. And the, the Jets and the Giants reached a whole new level last night with that 10 6 fiasco. Um, we got to talk about that both John Michael Schmitz and Evan Neal both left the Giants preseason valley with ankle injuries yesterday. So th- that's that's something that's something to keep an eye on more of the JMS than the uh, than the Evan Neal. Um, so I don't, I don't know. Ex- I mean, I don't know exactly to what extent these are going to be. So we're going to, we're going to get, we'll get more information as you know, it comes available and let you know when we get that details, we'll, you know, we'll probably discuss it. 53 man roster cut down day is coming up. It's going to be coming up quick. Um, and, and I, I wanted to do it fresh in my mind after seeing last night. And, and it's just, it's just one of those things that you, you, this, you know, this team isn't going to be good. You know, you could see it. You could see that our third and fourth teamers just aren't good at all. Um, so, you know, but you're not going to be, you're not going to be hopefully relying on these guys for some great extent. Um, but, but you are going to be relying them as depth pieces. And like I said, we've said it before, our depth pieces aren't that great. We, we are, we are an injury away from, from catastrophe and, and it's not even, you know, it's funny, but most of the times you speak about this, you say, we are an injury away from catastrophe at the quarterback position. We're not even injury away from catastrophe at the quarterback position. If anything, we, we are an injury away from a wide receiver for, for a, uh, for a defensive back it's just going to be one of, it's just going to be one of those things. And, and I was thinking who's going to make this 53 man roster. And, and it's interesting because I'm, I'm probably not going to give all the names because of the fact that I think some of these names that that are currently on the roster now are probably not going to be here. And, and I was thinking, I was thinking about this last night. Cause if you look at the 53 man, you always got to start with the quarterback. You know, Daniel Jones is your Daniel Jones is your starter. Good, bad, or indifferent. Drew Locke is still coming off, uh, is still working back, working himself back from injury. Um, so, so, you know, you're going to carry three quarterbacks. So the question is going to be this is, is, it, I mean, you're going to, are, are, are you going to bring in Tom, you're going to keep Tommy DeVito? Cause Tommy DeVito really didn't show me anything yesterday. Tommy DeVito against the scrubs. I don't want no scrubs really didn't show me that. <clears throat> excuse me. He was, I lost my voice. It was one of those days. I, I went to Philadelphia and I, I watched the Eagle game. The Eagle game was just as bad. And I think they, they lost 26, three. Uh, but it was a lot, it was a lot of fun. It was, it was good hospitality. It was, um, it, it, it was, uh, you get, you get a different, I always say you get a different, I, I always go harken back to the old Met life day and that, excuse me, old Meadowlands days. There's always been a different vibe, um, in the Met light stadium since they tore down the Meadowlands. And I never felt like we truly ever got that home field advantage or that vibe back. And even in a preseason game in Philadelphia, the, 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 the uh, and even at a half filled crowd, the tenaciousness of, of that fan base and, and the loyalty of that fan base. And, and is, is, um, and I say the same things about Washington, I say the same things about Dallas. It's just, well, maybe not, not as much as Dallas and not as much as from the commanders when they moved at RFK, which was years ago, but there, there's just this, there's just, just this thing about certain stadiums that we go into. And I always say Lincoln financial stadium is a dump, but I still think it's a dump. Um, even though ours was actually built on a dump, I always think it's a dump, but you know, there, there is, there is this, um, there's a certain je ne sais quoi that you see in that stadium because of the fact that it's strictly the Eagle stadium. And, and I think the giants lost that years ago, going back to the Meadowlands where they let the jets become a resident. And we took down that big giant stadium, the big red letters off the side of the building uh, for this new MetLife crap. So, I mean, I don't know. That's just, that's just me pontificating a little bit, but that, Tommy Vita was 14 for 27 for 103. Yeah. He was, he was under constant duress, but again, like I said, you're also playing against the scrubs. 
So I, I would expect it more. Do they go out and try to find another quarterback? I, there, there was some talk that they were people aren't too uh, through thrilled with Hendon Hooker, even though he put up like a hundred something yards and I think he had ninety yards rushing. Uh, do you bring in someone like a Malik Willis? I don't think he's going to survive the cut in um, in Tennessee. I don't know. I, I just just he's just Tommy DeVito. We've seen enough. He's just not. He's just not an NFL quarter starting NFL quarterback uh, at the running back positions. I think you're probably going to go with three and I think you all know it's going to be, it's going to be Singletary. It's going to be gray and Tyrone Tracy. I think Dante Miller will probably end up on the practice squad uh, turbo again, again, against the scrubs. I, I didn't, I didn't see a lot. I didn't see a lot out of turbo, you know, tur- turbo's motor wasn't running at 14 carries for 45 yards at 3.2. Not, and not enthused with having Eric gray backing up Devin Singletary. I think we are ranked the 32nd worst running back room. And I could see why, because Singletary on a, ch- on a, a playoff, ca- a playoff team last year with a rookie quarterback only had what 800 plus yards. And even when they had the injuries in the wide receiver position, they didn't rely heavily on the running game. They relied on the rookie quarterback. So we got to kind of go there. Your tight end positions. I, <clears throat> excuse me. I would only carry three. And the giants might carry four. You figure it's getting, you know, Theo Johnson is going to be here. Bellinger is going to be here. And I would, t- I would keep Johnson. Um, but, but you could potentially carry four there, but I would, I would only carry three wide receivers. You're probably going to carry six. I might carry seven in the beginning of the season. You know, your starters are going to be to me. I, well, I personally think your starters should be neighbors, Slayton and Wandell. You could also, uh, you could also put in a little bit of the, uh, of the Hyatt in there as well. Uh, you're going to have to, I <clears throat> Gunner is going to, to me, I think Gunner's going to make the team over Isaiah McKenzie. I don't think Allen Robinson is going to make the team. Uh, I think that final spot's going to be up between Boinkins and Isaiah Hodgkins but I'm not sure which one of those two. I mean, I would pro- if you're going to go with experience, uh, you, you probably go with miles. If you're going to go experience with the giants, you probably go with Isaiah, uh, but I don't think there's going to be too many shocks. The offensive lines where it's going to be, it's going to get, it's going to get a little kludgy. Uh, I think you should, you're probably going to carry. I would carry anywhere between nine to 11 guys. You know, the starters are going to be Thomas and Runyon. Uh, you know, JMS. I don't know what's going on with JMS right now. You got what's his name? Elamore is going to be one of your starters. I I think that uh, Greg Von Roten is going to probably slide into that starter list, and then the backups. I mean, you're going to have Neil. You're going to have Azuda. After that, you know what? You could you could cut or or keep guys and keep them interchangeable, or you're going to have to look for some guys. What's his name? Um, I think McKeithen probably is going to be gone. I think Azuda should be gone too, but I don't think I don't think you can cut him yet. Um, I don't know if it's good. I mean, like I said, anyone I saw last night play on that offensive line should just be, should, uh, should just be cut your defense is where it's going to get a little kludgy. I think you're going to keep at least five defensive tackles or defensive linemen. Um, <clears throat> actually I'd probably keep four, but you probably, I, I think DJ Davidson might be the odd man out. I think Chapman's going to make the roster. I think Riley's going to make the roster. You know, nachos and Dexter's are going to be your starters. Um, and it's going to be like I said. It really depends on how you're going to break down this team, because then you could say the defensive end position. But we have more quasi defensive end slash linebackers, and I'm not sure how they are going to differentiate the linebackers from the defensive ends. Because your de- your defensive end stars in my mind, are, of course, going to be Thibodeaux and Burns, but you can also throw them in the outside linebacker position. Uh, I think Aziz Ojolari might be, I think he's, I think the giants are finally going to move on from him. I think that he's going to be a prop, maybe try to be a trade candidate. I, I think for the love of God, Boogie Basham somehow is making this team. I mean, if it's me, if you're going to go by strict injury issues, you're going to have to, I would go with Basham over, uh, over Aziz Ojolari. If you're going with pure talent, you got to You got to stick with Aziz Ojolari. Your inside linebackers is where it's going to get kludgy as well. You're going to probably, you're going to have O'Kara carry and McFadden coming in. I think uh, Johnson, I think Johnson should make the team, but I can see if they bring in Adams, you're going to take, you're going to take the kid out of USC. What's his name? Darius. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know. I also with Carter Coughlin, if, if you're going to keep at Matthew Adams, if you're going to keep, you might want to keep Adams as well. But if I'm going to keep a player, I'm probably going to take Johnson over Carter Coughlin. 
uh, what's his name? Uh, Darren Beaver should be cut. CJ, uh, what's his name? Uh, CJ Cloud should be cl- should be cut as well. Um, I just I just look at the depth though behind these guys, and I, and I just kind of cringe. And it's the same thing with if you want to refer to them, the outside linebacker position. We don't really truly have a true. And this is what kind of gets me on this roster. We don't, and and maybe it's the way we're going to run the defense, but we don't really, and it's been going on for a couple of years now. It's not just recently. We don't truly have a defensive, I mean, excuse me, an outside linebacker. We don't have a true outside linebacker, a true stand up outside linebacker who can help hold the edge against the run, who can rush the passer from the stand up position. I, I think both Thibodeau and Burns are better off with their hand in the dirt. Um, you know, it's you, you go back to the old Giants outside linebacker positions when you had the likes of Banks and uh, and Taylor, but then backing them up. But you had guys that could start on other teams like Andy Hedden and Byron Hunt and uh, and uh, Steve Diossi at one point in time. And uh, I, I know I know I'm forgetting another guy. I know I'm forgetting another guy. Um, but we just don't we just don't have the the, the the d is the d is worrying me more and more your starting corners of course are going to be i don't know the starting quarterbacks are going to outside of Deontay Banks you could just add and other um do you put Phillips in the slot do you put do you start McLeod you figure that Trey Hawkins is going to be on this team you, do you go with someone like Herndon I mean, I think you're going to go with five to six corners. I would probably go with six corners. Um, I would probably keep Banks, Hawkins, Holmes, McLeod, Phillips, and then I would keep the likes of either uh, Herndon or Goodrich. So I, I do think there's going to be, I, like I said, all these positions to me are going to be up for grabs because as soon as the cuts down happens, I think the Giants are going to be going after some low-hanging fruit here. Uh, your safeties. Oh dear Lord. Safeties. I, I, I would, st- you know what? If you're going to throw caution to the wind, start Tyler Newbin. The Dane Belton shit is just, is just out of my mind. Uh, J- Pinnock's going to be other starting safety. I think you're going to have the likes of Belton, Alex Johnson and uh, Simmons. I think, I think, uh, I think the Owens experiments is finally going to be over because he's been injured. Um, I think Alex Johnson could make the team but I might carry four safeties and try to pick somebody up. The, the, they, they've the, the Isaiah Simmons experiment in camp has just been to me a failure. Cause now they're trying now they're trying him out at the big slot corner. <laughs> he's a big slot. He's a big slot corner. Now <laughs> I don't know. Just not liking what I see. And, and there's such a hodgepodge of guys here. And there's just, it's, it's almost like we're cutting and pasting. Even if you would have drafted a quarterback, this team wouldn't have been good. It'd been more fun to watch, but it, it, it wouldn't, they wouldn't be good. But even, even if you drafted a quarterback, but it's, it's just the talent on this roster. If, if, if you looked at this roster and said, is it better than the roster Shane had when he took over this team? you're probably going to say no. And I know, like I said, everyone likes to say, well, we got the deepest wide receiver room. All you did really is add neighbors. We've talked about this. You only did was add neighbors from last year. Oh, and, and miles Boinkin, maybe. And like I said, I, I, I am depthly concerned about our linebackers. Now I, I was looking at our line. I'm fine on the defensive line. If you're going to keep your standard guys as defensive ends, we're fine with that. But I'm, I am, I am definitely concerned about the inside linebackers and we don't really have any true outside linebackers, like a true outside, like a true outside linebacker position. We don't have that guy. And that's no, that's not the fault of anyone on the team. It's the fault of the people that orchestrated and architect and was the architects of this team. So we have to keep a look at it. That we'll see what the cuts downs do. They'll be coming fast and furious. No Sunday giant today because I am exhausted between Philadelphia and, and the game last night and everything else. I'm just, I'm just worn out. Plus school starts tomorrow. So I want to make sure I'm hanging out with the family. So make sure if you're in the great state of Pennsylvania, you know, school starts tomorrow. Make sure you hang out with your kids. It's always important. And again, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell. If you want to know why that'd be awesome.